Hey everybody, how you doing? Today I'll be talking about a movie called Ouija Money. Uh, excuse me, Ouija Mummy. And um, this movie is, I, I can't call it low budget because I feel like the camera angle was pretty good. Camera work was good for this movie. And the um, only thing that's kind of like, it's the practical effects that's very low budget, you know, ch cheaply made, easily made. Nothing more practical effects though, but this is like a... Um, not a movie, it's a simple, to me it feels more like a short movie, even though it was one hour. And I did find myself enjoying it, just to a certain aspect, when I feel like it could have been a little bit better if they edited down all that talking for one hour. Or like, I would say the 40 minute mark is when stuff starts happening. And even, even with that, it's still not like, it's, I thought it was alright, but not all, it could have been better. And I'm not going to judge the quality or the budget of the movie, you know, because I give all movies a fair chance, you know, a fair, ch fair chance pretty much. And um, the movie's about these two couples. A young couple just got married. They moved to this house. But you're going to find out later towards the movie that this house was by the woman, the bride, that her aunt lived in this house and she passed away. But it was never mentioned, like, in the movie, like, if, if they were related, you know, towards later. Because she acted like this was, like, a new home. Like, she didn't know, like she didn't know nothing about it, which was kind of weird, you know, how it was set up. So, so there, was, there was some flaws in this movie that... Uh, story wise, I feel like it could have been edited down or could have been changed up or a little bit better at least. But the aunt in the beginning of the movie finds this necklace, it belongs to a goddess. When she um, overdosed, like I said, the two couples moved to the house, and later on, the husband found this necklace and gave it to his wife as a present. Later on, his, her wife found, you know, his wife found the Ouija board and she's playing around with it when she's having house guests over for a house party. Her housewarming party, pretty much, with a few people. And um, once you get these guests playing with the Ouija board with the couple, they don't, the, her and her husband becomes possessed by the goddess, and I believe the husband becomes a disciple, one of the disciples. He turns to like a dog with fangs. But I like the low budget special effects of how the goddess looked it. Even the husband with the fangs, I thought it was a good practical effect, in my opinion. And, you know, it's a good, it's cheap quality, but you know what? Still enjoyable. You know, if it if it got more towards a horror route, because they did went the horror route towards the end, but it should have just been a horror horror route since the thirty minute mark of the movie, because the movie is more talking towards forty minutes. It's trying to build up on on the characters a little bit, but still, it's like, come on, that took too long, man. Come on, it took too long, and um, pretty much the people that were possessed, the two couple that were killing some killing the house guests, excuse me with one of them going to survive pretty much. And um, besides that, I, I thought it could, this movie could have been better. I did, I admit the actors and actresses, they were likable, I'm not going to lie. They pretty much played a role. But it's just like the editing could have been better, story could have been better a little bit, talk it around a little bit, and just get to the horror part of it instead of more talking part of it. But on Ouija Mommy, I'll say this is a try and error. Um, I, I definitely think this movie should get a remake, the director should remake this movie Make it a little bit better in my opinion. But anyway, that's my opinion. Over and out.